everyone, this is Eat Sleep here from the Techies. And today, I'm going to show you how to make kind of a rainy media generator effect in Sony Vegas. Uh, please note that this is only for the effect, this is not for the text. Uh, the text will be for another tutorial later down the road. This is just a cool idea I found uh, a couple days ago. So, I'm going to just start with my basic text here doesn't like showing up but um, pretty much all you have to do is make a text that you want to do this for and then follow what I do <laughs> so I'm gonna go into color gradient under the media generators tab and for this one I'm just gonna choose soft blue backdrop and drag that into my media file and here of course you can change all kinds of colors a dark blue kind of light blue all kinds of colors that you want so I'll just kinda of leave it like that drag it to however long your text media is and for your soft blue backdrop you wanna make sure your compositing mode is at burn it looks nicest at burn I mean you can always use these all all these different kinds of uh, compositing modes but burn looks really nice for this effect so next we need to go under the noise texture tab and go down to starry sky and drag that in there so uh, what I choose for this one is I choose for the noise style I usually use um, marble light grain I think that looks nice and of course over here at color you can change the color I'll do kind of a darker blue um, for frequency you want to have the X all the way down no frequency for the X and the Y move that up a little bit kind of like that offset you can change that to whatever you want it, it doesn't really change much because it's kind of a random act and minimum kind of makes it more more streaky and max does the same and amplitude it's just how how crazy you want it to look a lot of a lot of choices to make when you're doing this so when you have all your um stuff set up in here you want to go to the end of this media generator tab so just pull the uh tracker all the way to the end insert a keyframe and over here in progress in degrees you want to pull that all the way up to 10 this allows it to do its kind of um, moving effect that it has and I'm just gonna drag this over here and by the way you all you want to have this um, track it, you want to have it at dodged not burned dodged burned is the um, kind of just c basic color that you used and to dodge is the rain one so if I look at that kind of got a rain look there but it's going sideways so if you want to change that you can go into event pan and crop and just change the angle to 90 and move these in so they fill up the whole screen I don't know, this is this seems the most difficult part, getting it to fill the screen of how you want. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And when I go back to preview, now the rain is kind of like uh, falling down. Some other ideas that you could do with this is, um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this track and then remove it so I can change it. So that's good. But now, another cool thing is if you change it to restore so you have one going the horizontal and one vertical I think that looks pretty cool like that kind of the uh, tech kind of look which is pretty cool and of course in this you can change to uh, all kinds of compositing modes screen cut actually you don't want to do that because uh, then your text might be lost but um you can you mess around with it it's really neat and uh, some effects you can even get the 
the rain effect to go inside the letters. That's also another tutorial. But experiment with this. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm Eat Sleep. Thanks for watching.